Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolo Tech, and with iOS 7 comes quite a few changes. Not only does it look different, but it has different functions as well. So this video is going to be about the basics of iOS 7 for those new to iOS 7 and those coming to an iPhone for the first time. Let's first start by locking the phone and showing what's on the home screen. So I'll unlock it, and you can see here's my logo. And we can slide to unlock, which we've already done, most people know. We also have the ability to pull down and see, you can see a grocery updated, but we can swipe from left to right to go through the notification center now. And it kind of shows the weather and what we need to do here today on the calendar. And then we can slide this off the screen, all from the lock screen. We can also do the same with command center, which is new from the bottom. So anytime you see this little line, we can scroll up from the bottom and it gives us different options. So instead of double tapping like you might be used to on iOS 6 to bring up a little menu on the bottom, we can just open the command center. So we have an option down here for a flashlight. We can turn that on. We have an option for our timer. We'll go back here. And we also have the command center here in the main home screen. So it's the same thing. You can just access it from the lock screen. We also have access to a calculator, and you can see the nice transparencies on everything, and then we can open the camera. Now we do have some other options. AirDrop makes it easy to transfer different things to other people in the area that have iOS 7. So you can see it says you can turn it off, contacts only, or everyone, and if someone has iOS 7 it will look for them in the area and you can send them a picture or something like that. We also have the option to AirPlay, which if you have an AirPlay device, like I do, I have an Airport Express, an Apple TV, and an iHome device that I can play music and, and video to the Apple TV. We can turn those all on from there. We also have the option to go straight into airplane mode. We have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, this is Do Not Disturb, and Rotation Lock. So if I want to turn on Bluetooth, I just tap on it. Pretty simple. Go home here. And that's pretty much it as far as the notification center and command center but for those of you that used to search you used to swipe this way well, you can't do that anymore instead of pulling down from the top or pulling up from the bottom we pull somewhere in the middle and we get the search iPhone you can see we can swipe it in and out and pretty simple same as before it does search a few more things this time but that's how you access it multitasking has changed on iOS 7 as well if we double tap the home button, you used to be able to see the whole thing slide up and then there were some buttons along the bottom. Well, if we do that now, we kind of get these cards of what was open last. And we can scroll through them. And if we want to close something, we just simply slide it off the screen until they're all closed. Then we hit the home button and it goes right back. It's really simple, pretty intuitive, works well. There is no way currently to close them all at once. You also have the ability to delete apps. If you're not familiar with that, you just tap and hold an app, and you'll get this X, and you tap on it to delete. You can also move the apps around using the same method. You tap and hold. I can move this into a folder by dragging it into a folder, or I can create a folder by dragging it on top of another icon. And you can see it made a folder. It named it Entertainment. If I don't want to use that name, I can tap in there and edit it. We'll hit done and that's a notification we'll just slide it off the screen like that and then to get these to stop jiggling we hit the home button we can go into the folders and we have multiple pages in our folders now you can see all those and we tap outside the folder to go back it's really simple really intuitive and we can move things out of the folders the same way slide them out slide it back in and it works really well those are the basic things you can do with iOS 7 there's plenty of other things you can do within each one of these apps that's included or apps you download, such as camera, photos, calendar, and some of those things have changed dramatically, and I'll cover those in another video. If you have any questions or comments regarding something you'd like to see that you haven't been able to find online, please place those in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.